Today we're gonna try Oatly's vanilla non-dairy frozen dessert, which is made with oat milk, which I'm a fan of, so I'm hoping that this is gonna turn out good. I'm filming in my bedroom right now because my niece is here and she's taking over the living room, basically, which is also the dining room because I live in a, you know, a piece of crap. So it's impossible to film out there because she's just constantly making noise. So here we are in my bedroom. So let's get to the ice cream, or not really ice cream, non-dairy frozen dessert. Here's our temporary filming angle here. You can see my bedroom. Um, back to the Oatly, we got a little thing on the front. If anybody wants to read it, apparently my lucky numbers are 278, 32, and 46. I don't know if those change per container or or what. They say these could just be random numbers, who knows. So thanks for wasting my time, I guess. Let's take a bite. As with the uh, Chobani um, oat milk eggnog I reviewed a few weeks ago, and you're not going to fool anybody with this and just saying, hey, this is just regular vanilla ice cream. If I gave this to you and said, hey, I got some vanilla ice cream, you want some? You would know that something is off. But it's not necessarily in a bad way. What The important thing to note here is that while it's non-dairy and it's not ice cream, it's not like low-fat. It's not, um, you know, no sugar added kind of thing. And there's a lot of sugar in here and it tastes very sweet and it tastes good. Um, it's just got that oat milk flavor, which if you've ever had oat milk, um, you'd know if you like it or not, but it's just kind of like a, like an oat flavor on the back end. Even if you've ever, even if you've never had oat milk and you just had oatmeal, it's like there's a hint of oat in it, but I don't hate that. I actually, I actually really like it. And I think that this is great. I, I wouldn't put it over standard vanilla ice cream, but if you're lactose intolerant, uh, this would be an amazing alternative. I do wish it had a little bit more vanilla flavor, actually, because it's just kind of, it just kind of tastes like sweet cream almost, and not really vanilla-y, and I like a lot of vanilla. That's why vanilla bean is one of my favorite ice creams, because I like that strong taste of vanilla, and this is kind of light on the vanilla. Like I said, it's more like sweet cream ice cream. Well, I was unfortunately interrupted by an emergency involving a Thomas the Tank Engine train that moves on its own on a track, getting stuck in hair, where, in which I had to use scissors, but... Anyways, my point is that it's good. It doesn't really like taste like ice cream necessarily, but it's not like non-fat ice cream. It's somewhere in the middle. It's very sweet. It doesn't really taste very vanilla-y, but it does taste good. I also want to comment quickly on the texture because I feel like texture is an important part of ice cream that I didn't touch on for some reason. Um, it actually does have a texture like ice cream, maybe a little bit harder. You might not want to like leave this on the counter for a few minutes before you get into it, but it's not like low-fat ice cream where it's like grainy it actually does have an ice cream texture which is really nice so i want to i want to say that this is a solid four out of five and if there was more vanilla flavor in there i might even go to a five i think as an alternative to a regular ice cream i haven't had any better so if you're lactose intolerant get on this